Wondermind does not provide medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Any information published on this website or by this brand is not intended as a replacement for medical advice or a substitute for the advice of a professional, and you should not rely on it. Always consult a qualified health or mental health professional with any questions or concerns about your mental health. Hey there, I'm Dr. Ryan Howes, clinical psychologist and Wondermine Advisory Committee member. Welcome to week two of Baggage Drop. This week, I'll tell you more about the techniques and mindset adjustments that you started last week. We'll also get into the types of support you'll need to maintain changes you are making. Our team at Wondermind created Baggage Drop to give you tools to make meaningful changes in your daily life. We want to help you get rid of whatever's weighing your mind down so you can reach higher heights with your mental health. This is Baggage Drop. If this is your first Baggage Drop episode, awesome. We can start together. But I encourage listeners to circle back to last week's episodes. You might get even more out of this one. This week is all about recognizing and remembering to lean on your support systems. So together, you and I, let's get into it. In week one, we learned that baggage can be anything that weighs you down or holds you back. This week, we're also going to look at ways that weight can be lifted when it's shared and when you're supported. Significant research has proven that social support can greatly benefit one's quality of life. And according to researchers at the University of Pennsylvania, there are four categories of support. There's emotional support. That's the one your friends and family typically provide when they give you a pep talk. There's instrumental support. That's tangible services, like when your spouse does the laundry. There's informational support like advice, suggestions, or news. And there's appraisal support. This one's when someone's perspective helps you learn more about yourself or your situation. And even though that sounds like a lot, we're here to help you find ways to recognize and use even a small fraction of your support system. First, we want to get a handle on where your support comes from. So think on this. Who is the first person you want to tell when you have good news and bad news? We asked our community these questions, and here's what they told us. The first person I tell good or bad news to is my sister. She's my youngest sister, and growing up, we were always like fighting and everything, but now that we're both adults, we're super close. So anytime I get any news about anything, good or bad, she's always the first person I go to. My mother, for sure, my family, my sister, my partner. I would say the bad news, it would be my mom, I guess. And the good news, that would be a friend that I met when I was studying in the National Academy of Dramatic Arts. It was my second year. And since then, that person changed my life in so many ways. So the first person I tell good news would absolutely be my dad. He's incredible. Like thinking about him just brings tears to my eyes because I'm so incredibly grateful. He's so supportive. He's my why. So he's the reason why I try at everything. Like I I can't even describe in words how grateful I am for him. I do tell him bad news too because he's the one that's in my corner rooting for me. So the first person I share good news with is my little brother because he's always genuinely excited for my news. And if I have bad news, it's mostly my best friend because she just <laughs> understands it. This weekend, the person I will share both my good news and my bad news is my best friend and my brother. He's my best friend and he's actually my brother. We think of each other as brothers. So He's a very, very special person to me, so I will share every news with him. My dog is my therapist, so she knows everything about me, even before I do. So, yes, my dog knows everything. Some people call these people who come into their mind their yeses or their stakeholders. I like to call them my buddies. And it's important to note that your yeses can come directly from people, but they can also be found elsewhere. A cuddle from a pet, a song that puts a new pep in your step, 
new flowers in your garden. Support doesn't have to be big or life altering, but sometimes we go through periods in our life where we may not have something or someone who comes to mind when we think of support. Contrary to popular belief, that's not a problem. I want you to remember, you always can find support from within. I know that sounds a bit dark, but it's actually really important to ensure you always are your own support. That'll keep you going through the toughest of times. In fact, sometimes inner support helps us notice how we can uncover yeses, even when we didn't know they were there. For a little inspiration, here's where some of the Wondermind community said they found their yeses. I got a big yes from the world today when my puppy woke me up with a big kiss and a hug. The time I got a yes from the universe was when I was on a mental health walk and I was really in my head about all the things going on in my life at that time. And I looked up and the entire woods in front of me was just filled with fireflies. And I immediately felt calm and safe and grounded. So I have been on a job hunt for a new job for the last five months. I've had multiple rejections with over 50 applications. And finally last week I had just kind of enough with my current job situation. I was just so frustrated. And that same week, days later, I got my first job offer. And it was for a job that I have wanted so badly and is at the top of my list. And then today, a week later, I got another job offer from a place I would love to work. So I would definitely take that as a definite smile. So this past Sunday, I was on a walk with my mom and it was a cloudy day. And I was just feeling really down and really hurt because I had found out that one of my exes is dating one of my friends. So I was finishing my walk. I turned and I saw a beautiful double rainbow form in the sky. And I took that as a sign from the universe that my future is bright. My future holds a lot more love and my future holds people that are going to love and respect me for who I am and are gonna reciprocate everything that I give out. To begin your work of harnessing inner support, let's start here. Who's your role model or hero? Why do you like them? What do you admire about them? Can you incorporate any of what you think makes them great into your own choices or daily movements? Here's a story that hopefully can demonstrate why I'm asking these questions. I recently had a conflict with a colleague that really bothered me. I was losing sleep at night trying to find a solution. But I remembered I had a friend who went through a similar situation a couple of years ago. He handled it with bravery, poise, and grace as he boldly asserted himself. I wanna be like him, I thought. Having him as an example helped me be my best self as I made significant choices in my own life. I think this exercise can help you identify qualities that you admire in others and help you incorporate these qualities in your own life. Because we all have people to lean on, but sometimes our best support is ourselves. Remember, this is a practice. Remember to be receptive too. It is a learning process and it is important to have compassion for yourself when it gets hard. Keep at it. And with time, you might look at yourself in the mirror and realize, hey, my biggest support does everything with me because it is me. Did you enjoy this episode? Maybe learn something new? Leave Wondermind a quick voicemail at the link in our show notes and tell us what new habit you'll be starting this month. Or share a story about finding your own surprise support. Your contribution might even get featured on our Friday recap. Thanks for joining me today. Tune back in on Wednesday for our next installment of Baggage Drop. Now is your chance to join the Wondermind referral program. It's a win-win. Simply invite your friends to subscribe to our newsletter with your unique referral code found at the bottom of every Wondermind newsletter and get access to exclusive Wondermind content and merch. Everything from a Sunday Scary Survival Kit to a Wondermind Dad Hat and access to the Wondermind Ambassador Program, you won't want to miss out. Head to sharingiscaring.wondermind.com to learn more and start racking up those rewards today.